Well, what brought me to this was the fact that I really enjoyed the story, and I think Jan Coran has written a wonderful, wonderful play that uh, needed to be done. It's the first time it's being performed, so it's a lot of challenges for all of us because uh, we're working through a script that's never really been put on its feet. I am and was attracted to the character of Brett because he is um, a guy who I can relate to in a lot of ways. He's a, a writer who's very, very frustrated with the fact that he can't finish his novel. His last chapter of his novel has always been given a little bit of a boost by his wife, and his wife has passed away. And um, so he's stuck. He's got a bad case of writer's block, but it's a little bit more than writer's block. It's, it's writer's block plus... He, uh, he misses the person that actually helped him finish the last chapter. So it's, it's, a, it's a desperate move on his part at the beginning of the play where he shouts out and wishes that his wife were there with him. And that's how the play begins and then the fun ensues. It's a little bit uh, challenging to do a part that's never been performed before because the fact is the, uh, there is no sort of reference point. You can't go back to any other performances or, or places where the, the play has been done. Um, there are a few little you know, speed bumps and things you encounter when doing the play because you're sort of, uh, it's, it's never been performed. So there are moments that, that need to be clarified and, and things that need to be worked out. <laughs> the character is pretty much self-explanatory in that he has a, um, a real goal that he needs to write and finish his novel and that he's got a lot of difficulty doing that. So his late wife um, comes into the picture and assists him nobly in that effort. Probably um, <laughs> a lot, you know, you, you can't help but not use yourself in a situation like this. And um, I would, I don't think you can uh, sort of quantify it give it a percentage point. Uh, I think that you just have to use what you know in a particular situation and then um, obviously the author gives you, the playwright gives you other places to go and you try to extrapolate what your experience would tell you how to behave in that situation. So, uh, you know, I use a lot of myself. <laughs> I have no choice. They can get their tickets at GaryMarshallTheatre.org and they can come here in person to the Gary Marshall Theatre, but the best way to get them is online. Tickets are going fast and furious, but we can always use more audience. We're doing nine performances from November 7th till the 17th. November 7th till the 17th. I've been concentrating so much on other things that I've actually forgot the, the dates of the play, but that's what we're doing and uh, we'd love to see you. Um, there, are lots of, uh, there are lots of wonderful people in the play, and you're going to meet them. And we've got Isabella Hoffman, Tom Katzis, and uh, uh, Barbara Niven, and uh, Carol Ida White. So that's, that's kind of the lineup. And we also have a little doggy named Charlie. So um, no animals were hurt during the making of this play. I just want to let you know. And I think Charlie's equity, too. So.